on It's Supernatural! Sir Isaac Newton, considered the greatest scientist in history. But did you know he was... Do angels exist? Also an expert on the supernatural. I have finally found it. I have solved the riddle of when the Messiah will return. Do angels exist? Are healing miracles real? Is there life after death? Can people get supernatural help from another dimension? Has the future been written in advance? Sid Roth has spent 25 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid on this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. But that's the way it's supposed to be, naturally supernatural. Have I got a supernatural book? I mean, I've never read a book like this before. It's a historical fictional novel that reads exactly like today's newspaper. I mean, it's got a female president of the United States. It's got everything going on in the Middle East. It's got everything going on with the economy of the United States and the world. And then it has this subplot where you can see from the spirit world how it's influencing people. Now, I have the author here, Neil Russell. Neil is a high school uh, teacher. And how long have you been teaching in Annapolis High School? I started teaching in Annapolis when I was 20 years old. Uh, I'm 55, so if you do the math, that's uh, 35 years. I've taught three generations of Annapolis children. Why did you write this novel? It's your first novel. First novel. I had no intentions of writing I mean, it. It is a supernatural book. Do you Absolutely. realize that? It's all God. Back in the 2005, I was watching people read this book called The Da Vinci Code. And as a Christian, I knew it was filled with lies from the Satan. And people were buying that book as if it was the truth. So what I did is I tried my best to contact people to uh, come up with another book that would discount that. People were watching Harry Potter. These are lies from the devil. Uh, people uh, would also go to the movies like to watch The Passion. They wanted the truth. So in 2005, I heard God say, you write the book. And I am not a novelist. I work three jobs a day. I looked at my schedule and said, I can't do that. But God wouldn't let me go. So God took a man named Isaac Newton, somebody we've all heard about. And Isaac Newton's mention in the Da Vinci Code is all lies. God showed me the truth about this man. This man was a devout Christian. He not only believed that... Now, now first of all, for those that everyone's heard of Isaac Absolutely. Newton and the, and, and the law of gravity and things, but uh, what is he considered? Is he, isn't he considered one of the finest scientists in the history of the world? Isaac Newton is probably the smartest human being that ever lived. He felt that God had placed him on earth not only to figure out how the universe worked, but also something people didn't realize. He was a Bible scholar. He knew all the ancient languages, especially Hebrew. He felt that he was placed here, Sid, to find out when Jesus was going to return. Well, I know that he came up with uh, that Jesus would return by a certain year, but you were able, through all of this information, to put it in the book, uh, and I've been debating as to whether I should tease you or not, but I think I'm going to let you know the exact date that Sir Isaac Newton figured out from studying Revelation, studying Daniel, that Jesus was going to return. What did I say? And this doesn't mean it's correct, but it means the smartest man in the history of the world studying the most significant book in the history of the world, the Bible. This is what he came up with. What did he come up with? Isaac Newton studied all the books that you mentioned in prophecy, but the one that he really held on to was Daniel. He looked at the ninth chapter of Daniel. He interpreted the, uh, the years that are there as prophetic years, each year being seven years. But he took a different slant. Most people add up those years, come up with 483 years. They add that up and come up with the time when Christ first returned. But he took a look at that last 49 years. And he took a look and also said that the Jews one day would return to their homeland. Now this is 300 years before that fact. And that once they were in their homeland, that they would have Jerusalem as their capital again. Now that occurred in 1967. And what he did is he took the 49 years in, the, in Daniel 9, added those to 1967, 
He came up with a year. And he admonished people. We are not date setters. Uh, God's word says that. He knew God's word. Of but the year he came up with is 2016. Now, some people say 2060. You know, he scratched that on a piece of paper. But he really felt 2016 would be the year of Jesus' return. So, and, and this is all in the book, but on the day that you signed the contract with the publisher, what happened to your wife, Cindy? Cindy didn't reveal this to me, Sid, until about a month later. The reason she didn't is because I wasn't believing what she was telling me. Cindy told me throughout 2006, as I was writing the book, that God told her that Satan wanted to kill her, and, and I, being her husband and the spiritual head of my family, I was to pray over her. And I told Cindy, shut up. I didn't want to hear that. The end of 2006... Why, why didn't you want to hear it? You didn't believe in the reality of the spirit world? You, you did. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, I'm writing a book about, I'm writing a book about uh, devils and demons and angels and prophecy, but I'm a man. And I believe men, Sid, have a problem with bending to authority and believing. Even though I hear, all, I, I've been in church since 1983, and I've heard all the all the words of God, and I've memorized Scripture. It's the belief system. It's not until it's tested, and it wasn't tested. And when Cindy was telling me to pray over her, I, I and she's telling me she's seeing these things. She saw demons in our house, and I told her, Cindy, I don't believe you. Uh, there was one night in particular. Tell me about that, where you were attacked. Um, I was in my bedroom, and um, I, was I had the pillows up against my back, and I was leaning up against the pillows like this. And all of a sudden, through my house, I heard this whirlwind. And it went through the whole house, and it hit me so hard, it hit me right here, and it threw me back. And then it was right after that, Sid, I started getting sick. I stopped eating, and I was losing weight. And then on March the 11th, uh, Neil and I was getting ready for church. And I told Neil, I says, Neil, you'll have to take me to our local hospital. I'm not feeling well at all. And I was even unable to drink. So he did, he did take me to the hospital. And they did an ultrasound on me, and they found something. And then they said, Cindy, I'd like to you know, do more testing on you. So they did a CAT scan. And that's when they found out that I had um, bowel duct cancer, which went to my liver and the cancer consumed 80% of my liver. What's the medical prognosis of such a disease? Death. It was definitely death. Hold that thought. We'll be right back after this word. But death is not the final answer when you believe in the supernatural of the living God. Don't go away. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Sir Isaac Newton, recognized as the most prominent scientist and mathematician in history, spent the last 35 years of his life studying prophetic Bible scriptures. He wrote a secret manuscript that was hidden for centuries, but is now revealed in this book that is so timely and prophetic. Call now and receive your copy of Neil Russell's book, Newton's Riddle, The Psalm 83 Conspiracy Revealed. For a donation of $20, shipping is included. Ask for offer number 1149. Learn where we are in God's prophetic calendar concerning the return of Jesus the Messiah. Sir Isaac Newton predicted that the Jewish people would return to Israel long before modern day teachers of prophecy express such beliefs. This must read book is a historical fiction thriller that you're not going to be able to put down. The story contained in this book reveals events that are occurring right now concerning America, Israel, and the end times. It involves the election of the first female president of the United States. Learn what occurs when America turns its back on Israel. Read about the curses that befall America, an incurable plague, a cataclysmic earthquake, and a major economic collapse. Don't miss out on getting your copy of Neil Russell's book, Newton's Riddle, The Psalm 83 Conspiracy Revealed. For a donation of $20, shipping is included. Ask for offer number 1149, or you can write to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521, or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Neil and Cindy Russell, and uh, Neil wrote the most supernatural, wonderful